Brad Hall here, a full hearty episode for you today. I've got the Yeezy 700 V2 Inertia. I'll be talking about that shoe. Then I'm going to be comparing it to the first version of this Inertia colorway. And then after that, I'm going to share colorways I'd like to see from upcoming Yeezys. I am a big fan of the 700 V2. You've got that chunkiness in the midsole, but that upper, it's a lot more sleek. The tiny strips of leather, really premium quality, and this nice burly knit on the upper. I am a fan of the colorway. I think it looks nice on this V2. So just starting with that midsole, it does look like these pods. They're slightly different shades. Now moving to that upper, same general idea, you've got a mix of grays, the tongue and that toe piece, different shade than the V1, but the rest of the grays, they are about the same. Now moving down to that bottom, that is a big difference. So the differences, they are fairly tiny between these two. So we're already seeing the same colorway on different models of Yeezys. Now, I really like this colorway, so it doesn't bug me one bit, but I do think people are itching for something new. So I wanted to come up with some colorways for Yeezys that I think, I think they'd be exciting. I mocked up a bunch of, a bunch of shoes right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about all my designs. So up first, just keeping with that inertia colorway, we've got something I'm calling the reverse inertia. This takes that subtle gray mix and turns it pretty much on its head. It's something you haven't seen on the 700, just a really loud colorway. On this next one that I mocked up, I was kind of inspired by that Beluga colorway and how there was a Beluga 2.0 colorway. I thought that was really cool, just a twist on the same general color scheme. I came up with Inertia 2.0, the pods on this one, Instead of being that orangey pink, they're 3M. And then the 3M pieces, those are the orangey pink. So I just kind of switched those two. And it just gives it this totally different look. So far I've stuck with the 700 as my canvas, but I am excited about other models too. So I wanted to mock up some colorways with those other models. So I've got the 350 V2 Inertia, the 500 Inertia, the Power Phase Inertia, the Yeezy Boot Inertia, and then I've got a pair of Calabasas Pants Inertia. Now, as I was dreaming up these colorways, it was hard not to think about what would pretty much be the ultimate dream, having my own Yeezy colorway. So I thought about that and I mocked one up and I'm really happy with how it came out. It's subtle, just some hints of me on this shoe. I introduced another material on this one, just some denim, lightly used throughout that upper, and then complementing that, a nice button-down shirt. I also wanted to include kind of just a fun detail. That is, each pair would come with a tuft of my hair on the tongue, so probably won't be able to make too many of those. So that was a big show today. We talked about these two shoes right here, and then I showed you some really exciting upcoming Yeezy colorways, potentially. We'll see. So, we'll see.